good morning YouTube land appreciate you joining me this Friday morning I'm on my way to work only have to work three hours tie up some loose ends um, matter of fact <laughs> I got up I didn't even take a shower I mean I'm like just threw on some ragged clothes I'm gonna be the only one there in the office uh, the particular office I work will probably be nobody there so I'll go home, go back to bed, have, you know, then take a shower after I wake up. So it's one of those mornings. It's raining out. It's cloudy out. Uh, anyway, there was a, uh, a silver pullback. Um, I, I thought there would be. Um, it's not a significant pullback. Not grossly small by any means because you know it, it did drop from 23.25 dollars and 25 cents was that it I I can't even remember what the what the high was uh, two days ago but regardless coming from we'll just call it 23 dollars and 20 cents coming from 23 dollars and 20 cents down to 22.61 it's not too small but it is a slight pullback. We're gonna gauge it by its longevity, see how long it just sits in that range. And what do I mean by range? It's been sitting at around 22.61 yesterday and fluctuating to about 22.79-ish, kind of in that range all day yesterday. So we're gonna see what the markets, silver so market is gonna do. Like I said, it's a living and breathing organism. Uh, so we're gonna gauge it and um, keep watching. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping for some more activity. Um, I, I, it made me feel good, even though I'm. I want to buy my silver as cheap as possible, and I'm not ready to sell. I'm in that buying phase. Have not reached my goals. I want prices to be as low as possible when I'm acquiring it. It still made me rejoice when I seen the price jump. So um, it's kind of like that double-edged sword. So it is what it is. Um, I was kind of hoping to talk about some news, um, but I'm just not into it today. You know, but you know, a lot of the riots are not being covered uh, in their entirety on many of the news outlets uh, they're not covering much of the burning and violence and they're showing only clips of like mothers what they call it the pro the mother protesters the mothers that came out you know, lock their arms. They're showing little clips like that so you get the illusion that they're peaceful. I want you to know, since uh, these riots have been going on close to 60 days, and because the news outlets are not covering them, people are mistakenly getting the impression, mis uh, they're being misinformed by the lack of coverage that the riots had stopped. None of the rights have stopped. Um, the only news that I know that's covering these riots in their entirety, if you have cable, there's Newsmax on a lot of cable channels. Uh, Newsmax here on YouTube is always live streaming. Not recorded, it is live streaming. Newsmax on YouTube. Um, and Fox News. Fox News is covering it, regardless of what you think. That noise that you hear, by the way, is the rain hitting the windshield. Um, so the riots never stopped. People are uh, people are just being lied to, left and right, by the other news outlets. Uh, you got to see this for yourself. This is has nothing to do with Floyd Lloyd's death. It has nothing to do anymore with police brutality. This is a riot against the United States of America and our fundamental 
coming up on a on a light here with a little traffic. Our fundamental values. That's what this riot is about. The tearing down of our of our beliefs, of our quality of life, of our American values.